okay, so our app name is Can I Eat This? And essentially the, uh, the concept of the app is um, an application that allows you to see um, if, you, if there are any allergens in, in, the, uh, in a packaged product that may pertain to your allergies. So say, you know, if you're allergic to peanuts um, or, you know, strawberries, whatever it may be, sometimes the ingredients on the back of a label isn't exactly clear cut. So this, um, our application, you know, makes calls to an API that allows you to just see the, uh, the allergens, just their clear cut, you'll see always peanut peanuts, uh, strawberries, um, and uh, so forth. So um, our group members are? I'm Jad Asia. Uh, Brianne unfortunately couldn't be here, but um, she was a huge part um, in you know getting this to work. And I'm Jamie, so we'll I'll take it off to the next slide. So this is our homepage. Um, it's pretty simple. We just want you to put in your uh, EPC code. You can either type it in and hit scan, or you can select scan UPC, and it'll pick up the UPC code. <laughs> And uh, once you do that, it goes to the results page. So some of the things we incorporated into our application was, uh, you know, Node.js, HTML5, CSS3, you know, the basics. And then we also were using handlebars and the same bcrypt that we use with our previous exercise. We incorporated it into our application. Um, and then we had a barcode scanning app um, that actually TechTurtle also used. Uh, which is called Quagga.js that we uh, incorporated. And then our, our front end uh, framework is uh, a bootstrap. Originally went with materialized, but ran into some issues with that, so we switched over. And uh, this is the API that we use to get all of, well, that holds all of the, um, the database of all the UPCs. So whenever you scan your UPC, depending on if it's in their database, because it's a, not limited, but some like non-name brand products aren't on there yet. Um, yeah, you can do different endpoints, uh, but we decided to go with UPC. You can also scan um, like fresh produce, but those codes are different. So I know our design looks a little different, but this is just with the initial one when we set up the presentation. Uh, but the whole concept is still the, uh, the same. Essentially, um, you, you, have, you have a text function where you just type in the UPC code. Um, just in the event maybe the scanner doesn't work or it's, it's, uh, the package is uh, damaged, you can also just type it in and you'll get your results. Um, and as you'll see uh, on that second page, it'll show the, uh, the name of the product, the allergens, and the ingredients on there as well. So this is this is the, <laughs> this is my face. Uh, I did not know this was going up, but there you go. And this is actually the, the scanning function, or scanning one of my favorite favorite protein bars. And then once once it, pay, it picks it up, it'll automatically populate the uh, the, uh, the text field, and then you'll be able to search. <laughs> so um, some are. Some of our issues was the API. Uh, we kind of had to do routes to in order for, to like call it. Um, also, it's kind of limited with the, the barcodes that um, you scan. It doesn't have everything, so if it doesn't show up, uh, it just means that it's not on the database. Um, the barcode scanner is temperamental. Sometimes it wants to scan, other times it don't. And then also, if it's like. Um, if it's not straight, it's gonna think it's another letter, another uh, number. So make sure you just have to look at it to see if it enters correctly. And just to just follow up on that, like we went through numerous APIs uh, in terms of like UPC codes. Um, a lot of them, you know, the, the data wasn't correct. It was unresponsive when you made the calls. Um, so that was that was definitely a huge issue in terms of finding a, uh, a proper API. And then you know uh, when Jadesha was working on the uh, the uh, barcode scanning originally wanted to do uh, an, uh, a plat platform called Cordova that also gave us some issues. So uh, for future features, we would want the user to uh, store their allergens. So whenever they search, it would pop up saying, this has peanuts in it. You can't eat it rather than you just reading to whether 
not it has peanuts or any other allergen that you have. We also want to add if the product is in there isn't in there, you can add to the database or add or email us for approval. Um, mobile app, because right now if you go to our site on your mobile app, you might crash our site, so don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> um, we'd also like to add an audio feature for like children. If they scan it, it would say, no, you can't eat this, and that also ties into uh, the allergens. Okay, so now we'll just show a brief demo of the, uh, the application. And hopefully we'll have uh, success, yes. So we're going to use the same prone teeth bar. I, I, I can't promise to make the same face, unfortunately. So we also do have a, uh, you know, s sign in um, and sign up function, uh, functionality. Um, the only reason I'm not signing in is because we're not fully utilizing it right now um, in terms like it's, it's, it's fully functional in terms like where it stores the login and you can sign up. Um, but the only thing is we, uh, we initially wanted that for if a user have a user profile where they can add their, their allergens and then you'll, like, you'll receive that alert. So the purpose of this demo, I won't be logging in. All right, so we'll go ahead and scan. Just allow the camera. Protein bar is a little melted, so that's why the, the uh, not... Never feel. I think it's too like melted. See, can't do that. Your bottle's not gonna work. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we have several ones, several products. Backups. It worked over there. <laughs> we'll type it in. <laughs> So this is the Hot and Dogs uh, ice cream. It has cereal, eggs, milk, tree nuts, soy. Basically, if you're allergic to anything, you probably couldn't eat this. <laughs> All right, so we'll give it one more shot. Let's search again. I have faith. All right, so as you see, it's very temperamental, but no, normally this would work if it wasn't, uh, the package wasn't kind of uh, melted a little bit. <laughs> it was just sit in my car in the heat. Curved uh, surfaces are kind of tricky too, so. <laughs> we, we can sure give it a go. We can try. Almost. I think glare might be a problem too. I obviously do not have steady hands. Okay. All right. <laughs> so it looks like it's being terminal now. So we'll just we'll just uh, leave it with the text demo. All right. Any uh, questions?